Hello everyone and welcome back to White One Racing. Today we'll show you a comparison between large caliber carburetors. We have put together six of those between Italians and Japanese. So for now we present the material that we were able to put together also thanks to the generosity of those who lent us some carburetors uh, as we already see it said in the live stream so let's start with the first one let's start from the italian side which is uh, a 36 php then we have a vhsb 39 nominal diameter here it is a PHSB38 A Kahin PWM38 An Oco copy of the 40 Kahin PWK The largest in diameter And then the last A38 Mikuni TM so let's start our roundup from this Mikuni 38. I anticipate that this comparison will have to use the short time of a video and cannot be exhaustive. However, we'll focus on some important parameters for use. That is the dimensions, the overall dimensions, and then some technical details of how the floats are made. And now the guillotine is made. Let's start with some measures. As for the width, we are between 7.5 uh, between 7.5 and 8 centimeters. Then there is this ledge. We give this data because it can be important for positioning on the vehicle. Uh, they are all valid carburetors. However, the choice can be influenced by uh, the, the dimensions, which are very different between one and the other. Going to see how they are made, especially the float. This carburetor is a bit dated. However, it's a very advanced carburetor. And it has the particularity that others, but not all, also have two floats so that they can work uh, when inclined on one side and on the other without having problems on of level varia variation and this greatly influences the regularity of the calibration this has a flat guillotine and it's also relatively short the carburetor is 76 millimeters effective length because it has the conveying horn that starts right from the edge. Let's move on to the Oko Kahin 40, which is the largest uh, in diameter, slightly more than uh, 8 centimeters because it has some protrusions uh, and has only one float. This one has two floats, but they are paired, so they move together. These shapes serve to keep the gas around the main jet. Some carburetors have a snap-on metal plate that should have never been taken off. Some take it off, but it's something you should never do because otherwise the main jet may not fit well. Uh, this carburetor has a specially shaped valve. It's, uh, it's not cylindrical, but flat in front with only a relief and round in the back. In length, it's a little bit longer, it's over 9, nine centimeters in length. That was bigger and this is the most valuable one. This is the Kahin PWM, actually Kahin by the way. 
an extremely short carburetor given that uh, it's uh, seven seven point five centimeters it has the floats joined together so that is why they they move together it's very accurate in terms of craftsmanship it's really of great quality you can see and the width is a uh, detail instead of penalizes it in a certain sense because it's the widest of them all a maximum width is uh, 10.5 centimeters uh, and on some vehicles uh, it can actually be challenging to locate for example on the vespas themselves uh, this width here on the large ones is definitely annoying later we will also make the comparison of all the heights at the end maybe but it's relatively wide and rather low since we are just over 15 centimeters it has a very neat guillotine with a flared profile that is slightly concave from the entrance and convex toward the engine let's move on to the Italian PHSB 38. This is a very nice carburetor. It's different in that it has two completely separate floats that are completely free. They move in the tray on these two guides. It's a very advanced system. Here, this is how they close the needle alternately by pressing from one side or the other depending on how the carburetor is inclined the carburetor is tight um, six six point five centimeters low and which uh, which becomes uh, seven seven centimeters only at this point where the fuel filter cap is A peculiarity the uh, valve is cylindrical but the carburetor body has a, an amazing workmanship because it's made in such a way that with the valve fully open uh, the duct remains as uniform as possible because the carburetor has been milled and the valve slides as if it were a piston in a rail so uh, the profile of the duct remains perfectly intact without additional turbulence as little as possible this carburetor has an apparent length of almost 9 centimeters from which 12 millimeters shouldn't be counted This uh, 12 millimeters, uh, uh, it's this circular band that was made uh, to mount sleeves, in which in uh, GP bikes was completely removed, and the carburetors were included uh, in a insulated hay box that it contained them, and therefore they were also shortened. They already contain this um, this small horn. Um, so it was the smartest way to make them work. Let's move on to the Delorto VHSB. This carburetor, as regards to the length, uh, which is effective here because the horn starts right from the edge. We are around 8.5 8 centimeters. This has a nominal diameter of 39 but it has a very interesting peculiarity because as you can see i don't know if you can see it the duct is oval so on the narrow side uh, it's about 36 and on the long side it's 40 eventually a little more so it ultimately equates to an effective 38 however a confirmation of this type makes the calibration a little easier because the variation in section in the central part of the opening is constant so the airflow has a more linear trend and therefore it adapts better to that of the petrol here's a flat valve uh, 
Now let's take the pan out, which is virtually identical to the pH, ACE, B, and has the same type of floats that work, uh, work in the same way. This is an accessory. The storage cap has been put on, which is very valid. It also avoids issues because it is screwed by hand. It avoids making too much force and makes the whole setup procedure faster. And then the usual PHBE 36, which is the, the, the cheapest, even if it is a nice carburetor in the end, it's worse than all the others. Not only smaller, but also qualitatively, it's less evolved. It's, um, it's the most normal, it has its cylindrical valve, the round duct, it's long, it's, um, it's over 9.5 centimeters and about 7 centimeters wide. Yeah, about seven, seven centimeters wide. So it's cheap and works fine. In the end, among these, it's the cheapest and actually makes it very well if one is happy with a slightly lower compromise. Of course, it has a whole float. Hey, this is what I was saying at the beginning. This, uh, this carburetor here has this plate made on purpose to keep the gas, the gasoline uh, always close to the jet. Now, I'll show you the gas valves. This is a 36 small uh, PHB. Here is the unusual cylindrical valve. And the material is uh, light. I'll show you uh, an interesting comparison with this one. The highly evolved PHSB no longer in production, which instead has the gas valve made of heavier material, chrome bronze, and it's, uh, it's beautiful. And you can see how the processing is done inside. This is extremely precise. Then let's go to the other Italian one. This recently produced uh, with a slightly oval duct. It has a, this resin insert. If I get it up, here it is. Flat valve with guides, clearly. Then, we have the cane, the most valuable. I didn't show it to you before, so now it's not to make too many pieces. This is why we go into rounds, otherwise we would have done a mess. So you see what particular shape it has. It's the only one made like this, flared. It's the copy of the cane. Here it is. A flat or nearly flat valve. Flat in front and flared in back. And then the Mikuni. Also with the flat valve. So. A few dimensional considerations and also the reason for making this video, which was a, a very superficial discourse, of course, although the importance uh, lies in the fact that we thought it could be useful to help you uh, evaluate the adaptability of a carburetor on a vehicle, because the dimensions are important to take into consideration. For example, we've seen the 
lengths before but we have not compared the heights there are very important differences i'll show you for example the borderline cases the cane which is very wide on the other hand is relatively low compared to this vhsb which really has a significant vertical dimension Well, in any case, uh, the, the Lorto, and this is out of production, but you can still find it. Find it. Uh, PHSB and VHSB are high carburetors, uh, and this even more. The 36, uh, a little less, but it's, uh, it's of a lower category. And these here are wider. In particular, the Kahin PWM, this is it. These are wider, but lower. A peculiarity that distinguishes the Italian carburetors from the Japanese ones is that on the Delorto the uh, emulsion tube is also removable, therefore replaceable, while on the others it's fixed and uh, everything is done with a pin and jet. Now this can be seen in two respects because on the one hand the Delorto have more possibility for action but on this it's easier to act because uh, there is one less parameter. As for the length uh, therefore, uh, the um, hypothetical obstacle to the flow of the mixture of hair and then of um, air gasoline, uh, uh, an observation. The fact that a carburetor of this diameter is longer or shorter than one, one centimeter for the purpose of the passage changes just a little. However, there is an important, potentially important fact, and it concerns the tuning regime, uh, regime so that depending on how long the duct is uh, from the carburetor up to the reed valve, the tuning regime can be different. Uh, so the shorter it is, the more it can be tuned effectively at higher revs. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember, White Pond Racing is not a workshop, but an amateur sport association that works on engines only for sport purposes and only for its associates.